Blue and green mana are a funny old combination of colours, and in Gatecrash that leads to a funny old combination of crocodile frogs, lizard drakes, fish mutants, and uh, things. Let's go meet the Simic. The Simic Combine is looking for progress most of all. They want to move Ravnica forward, and the way they know that this is going to be accomplished is by changing themselves by evolving life, making the, the living beings of Ravnica into the grand future that they know is possible. They, their methods might be questionable to, uh, to some of the other guilds. They're not afraid to experiment on themselves, to give themselves new adaptations, new forms, to grow new limbs, to grow new eyeballs, to grow wings. Anything that they see as necessary to make themselves into that future that they, that they envision. Simic is the guild that takes parts of all kinds of creepy, greasy, slimy little creatures and pulls them apart and puts them back together in different interesting ways, which is kind of the most fun part of concept art. Uh, it's like, oh, you know, you don't have to draw that perfectly. You actually want to draw it a little bit weird. I want to be a little uncomfortable when I look at this, but still put notes of like, oh, yeah, but I can believe it. When we were working on Simic, we had to find some kind of common ground between these, these two colors. Um, and in a way, we wanted to grow past what we what we had established for the Simic before. We wanted to go even further. Like, what is what is the ethos of this of this guild of this making sense of these two enemy colors coming together? And what we came up with was using Blue's curiosity and Blue's desire to move forward and create more progress and combine it with Green's emphasis on life, using life in a way that Green normally wouldn't, and focusing on strength and flesh the way Blue normally wouldn't. Evolve is something special. Everyone in R&D, uh, all the designers, all the developers, they just love it. There's usually some detractors, someone who's like, I don't believe in this, I don't think it's fun, I, it's not the way I play, but Evolve taps into something literally primordial, it taps into uh, something that it's a play style that rewards you for just playing creatures on curve, building up your army, and, it's, and it brings the small guys up along with them. That one drop, he's usually not that good on turn six. Well, an, an Evolve one drop is. Before I came to Wizards, I was in a contest called The Great Designer Search 2 which was a sort of apprentice-style battle where Mark Rosewater played the part of Donald Trump and uh, we all tried to prove that we were equal to the task of being magic designers. And I, we each had a, a world that we were designing cards for, and I had a sort of dinosaur world where thousands of years passed every day or something. Uh, and so I wanted to be able to show time on a grand scale, so I worked throughout the competition refining a mechanic that eventually came to be called Evolve. And by the end of the contest, I had I nailed it down to the point where whenever a creature with greater power than this one comes onto the battlefield under your control, this creature gets a plus one, plus one counter. So the creature was responding to competition in its environment by becoming larger. So I'm really excited that Evolve is seeing print. Back during the Great Designer Search, when me and Ethan Fleischer we both were a little bit in competition with each other. He'll say he didn't feel the sense of competition, but I definitely felt uh, at odds with him. There was no competition. I had it in the bag from day one. And so every time he did something that, you know, really was cool, I felt like, oh, someone, someone, someone else uh, maybe is taking away my chances of getting this job in the end because they did something exciting. And Evolve was definitely a case of that, where he found something and it clicked, and it did something in a kind of unique way that was exciting, and I had to be like, oh no, why didn't he do something terrible? But, you know, I'm here now, and I think it's exciting that it's finally seeing print, and I'm excited to play with it. So, Prime Speaker Zagana is sort of typical of many of the Simic designs we came up with, in that she has the Evolve mechanic, and then has an ability that triggers when she evolves. Um, we discovered that there's a lot of design space there. There's a lot of design space around plus one, plus one counters. And so we had tons of exciting designs. We had to throw away 
lots of good card designs just because there are so many great ones. And we tried to put the very best, most splashy, most exciting one on the guild leader. And I think we have a very appealing card there. Prime Speakers of Ghana was actually two forces kind of coming together. One thing was the Simic had, because of its evolved mechanic, uh, cared a lot about plus one plus one counters, and because of that, cared about size, how big things were. And so we definitely wanted a card that sort of said, hey, there's value of having big things, but we wanted a card that kind of like helped offset the biggest problem of the big things, which is making sure you don't run out of cards. So she's nice in that she says, oh, well, I turn your sort of beef into cards, which is very powerful, and the Simic really can use that. So for six mana, she comes into play, and she gets counters equal to the large creature you control. So that's pretty good. So let's say you have like a Wolfier Silverheart play, for example. That's just a 4-4. Four, four. So she comes down as a 1-1, one, one, she gets four plus and plus one counters. Great. So then her ability goes on the stack, it says you draw cards equal to power, and you link her up with Wolfier Silverheart, and suddenly you're drawing nine cards for six mana, which is crazy. She works great with any soul bond creatures. If you have any kind of giant growth effects in your hand, you can use those in response to her ability to draw more cards. And also, just in any kind of green-blue deck where you're evolving your creatures up higher and higher, you can play her down, and suddenly, you know, your 6-2 with mini plus one plus one counters on it is contributing to Zagana, making her huge, letting you draw a lot of cards. It's like a control deck's worst nightmare to have to fight against this creature. My vision, my evolution, my guild. Simic. Won't you join us?